Boeing Starliner spacecraft landed uncrewed in New Mexico late Friday night. The landing marked the end of a three-month test mission. Technical issues, however, forced the astronauts who initially flew the Starliner to the International Space Station to stay there until next year. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams, who flew Starliner in June, stayed aboard the ISS. This happened after NASA deemed the spacecraft's thrusters too risky for a crewed return. Starliner autonomously docked at 6.04 p.m. ET, beginning a six-hour journey back to Earth. The spacecraft re-entered the atmosphere around 11 p.m. ET at speeds of 17,000 miles per hour. A NASA livestream showed Starliner deploying parachutes and airbags before a smooth landing at the White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico. While this mission was meant to be the final test before NASA certifies Starliner for routine missions, safety concerns last month have delayed the process. Despite the clean landing, the spacecraft's certification now faces uncertainty. Wilmore and Williams, who have been aboard the ISS with extra food and supplies, will return to Earth in February 2025 on a SpaceX vehicle. What was originally an eight-day test has become an eight-month mission for the crew. They will continue their work on science experiments alongside seven other astronauts on the ISS. The mission faced several technical challenges. Five of Starliner's 28 thrusters failed during the June approach to the ISS. There were also helium leaks in the propulsion system. Despite successfully docking on the 6th of June, these failures triggered a months-long investigation by Boeing, costing the company 125 million US dollars. This brings Boeing's total cost overruns on the Starliner program to over 1.6 billion US dollars since 2016. Boeing plans to recover the Starliner capsule and continue investigating the thruster issues. The service module, which housed the faulty thrusters, detached before re-entry and burned up in the atmosphere. Boeing will now rely on simulated tests to determine the cause of the malfunction. This test flight was Boeing's second major attempt after a failed mission in 2019 and a partial success in 2022. The ongoing technical problems cast doubt on Boeing's future in space, especially as SpaceX continues to offer more affordable and reliable alternatives.